<clears throat> Hello people, Lambda here, and today I'm going to be going through the basics of Horde Shelter Mode. Now, Shelter Mode is a uh, game mode that me and I don't know how you pronounce their name. Shiro, I guess. Me and Shiro are working on this game mode, and it's based off of, uh, it's using Horde as a base, and it's based off the, uh, Counter-Strike Nexon Studios, uh, shelter mode, which if you haven't seen that, then it's basically, well, this is basically just that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, I'm just, it, it's, it's like 12 at, 12 in the night. But yeah, let's go through the basics of how you play this. So, as you can see here, you have your crowbar, as per usual. Now, your crowbar in shelter mode is basically used to both upgrade and destroy things. Destroying using right click, and then building using left click. It's also a pretty good melee weapon. I don't know why I just tabbed out. Gotta make sure OBS is still on. Yep, it's still fine. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound very tired right now, it's because I am. But basically, whenever you load into shelter mode, like after the round starts, you press N and then you can put in points. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Ten, nine, eight, seven, You'll notice six, it starts the same way a normal horde usually starts. Eight. But then now you respawn in here, and I hear a lesion, I think. So what I'm going to go with is turret damage and capacity. Now, whenever you spawn in, you'll notice that, yep, there's zombies. Because, well, it's based off of Horde, would you know it? And my game is currently laggy a bit, but, you know. This game mode is basically just... You go grab uh, materials like this wood. You ignore, or, you know, you can both... Or you can just kill the main zombie. Or, not main zombie, I'm just sleepy, okay? I'm sorry, you can hear thunder in the background. We are having a storm here. Now, you may notice the sanity meter on the left. That is basically, uh, if that depletes, then it, you basically have to go back to your base and it refills. <clears throat> and... As you may have noticed, on the side there, there's a day uh, counter. That's because there's a day-night system in this mode. Where it's basically... How would I explain it? Whenever it's nighttime, zombies start like jumping off the roofs and trying to get to your base. Pro tip about the exploders, always aim for the head with the crowbar, or just a normal horde, just with any weapon, because that will cause them to not explode. Fun fact. And we're gonna go ahead and build a turret here. And this turret, as you may have seen, there's turret damage here. So... Whenever you up your turret damage, you know, it will, of course, obviously, well, up, up, up the turret damage. I, I, it's, think of it like if you've ever played Factorio and you've, like, upgraded the, um, the turret stuff. 
Also, in this map, uh, there's a lesion that spawns right around that corner. I highly recommend you stay away from this area as long as you can. Until you got the proper stuff to start dealing with these with uh, the lesion over there, like after you made a workbench and a gun, then just steer clear of that place. Also, never put your stuff inside the base because if sometimes zombies will just go in there. Always just build it like outside like this. And what we're also going to do here is put another turret on this side. Also, if you play shelter mode, uh, you'll actually start leveling up in Horde. Fun fact. But here's the thing. Me and Shiro are planning on actually porting uh, shelter mode to its own proper game mode, so stuff won't carry over into Horde. So day one is basically just put down as many turrets as you can, and also build up, you know, generators. And as you can see, nighttime is approaching, which means it's ominous o'clock. So now that it's nighttime, zombies will start jumping off the rooftop, and they'll try and infiltrate your base. Now you have the ability here, if you want to, you can try and uh, intervene with them and, you know, start killing. Or if you've set up your turrets nicely, you can, of course, always uh, rely on your turrets. Also, I believe... Hang on. It, if you're playing as any other class, you would have to use a, uh, a healing station to recover health. But since I'm playing as Medic, since that's, the char since that's the class I play as in Horde, then, you know... Seems like my other turret has broke broken down over there. I'm gonna up my turret damage a bit. And now that I'm dead, you know. Oh, hey. Play this man. And now that I'm dead, you know. You know what being dead is like in a video game. Another good tip that I've learned from playing shelter mode is if you can, always prefer to put your buildings up on a high place. Like on top of this truck, for example. Oh god. I think I heard the lesion. Now if you don't know what a lesion is, that's okay. Because you'll you'll figure out soon enough if you play if you play um shelter mode. Or, or just regular horde. The lesion is not exclusive to shelter. 
Oh, hey, a skull token. Skull tokens are not of use in shelter mode. They're just a thing of regular horde that just drops at times. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and play the smart. <laughs> and I'm going to put a turret up here. I can just shoot at zombies below. And that should be good for right now. Now, typically on day two, you want to... Yep, you see, that's the lesion right there. Whatever you do, at all costs, avoid alerting that thing. Unless you want to die, of course. I don't blame you. And until until you have enough to deal with the lesion, just stick to this general, like, area. Enough resources spawn around here to keep you stocked up for the early, early uh, bits of the game. And don't forget about your sanity. <laughs> because just like in real life, the longer you're away from home, the more insane you go. in my turret. Oh no. One of my generators. And now it's ominous o'clock. Oh yeah, because of the way Chiro made these maps, they're not exactly the most optimized. I, I let him know that on Discord earlier. But don't worry, we're planning on adding some more maps, and hopefully I'll be able to make some. Alright, and now that's becoming day, of course. The, the game is getting pretty laggy. I don't know what that's about. Now it's day three. And I have a skill point to spend it, and I'm going to put that into turret damage again. Oh yeah, fun fact, if you're playing Horde as the Demolition class from... If you're playing a, uh, as the Demolition class from base Horde, there's the effect that you'll just, like, get grenades. Just, like... Just by living. The, the Demolition class literally just gives birth to fragmentation grenades. I'm not joking. It's 
So yesterday when I was playing this with, well not yesterday, like two days ago when I was playing this with Discern, and he was playing as the Demolition class, uh, he, he would just <laughs> go over there to that lesion and just destroy him with the grenades. And because of how like the cluster grenades work, yeah, that just decided like, hey, let, 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 let's, let's just annihilate him. Oh, we don't have any power. Okay. Well, let's get that all sorted out first before we do anything. <clears throat> I just want to mostly focus on turret damage as of right now, because that would be the most helpful. Later on you can get a freaking mortar cannon, and that's wonderful. Most of the time, whenever you land headshots on zombies with the crowbar, you can pretty much insta kill them, as long as they're not like any special type of zombie. Past is full, cannot take any more resources. Figured. I might accidentally uh, piss off the leash over here. So as long as I don't do that, we're fine. Ow! Okay, my sanity's getting a bit low. Let's go home. And I'm gonna make basic storage here. Whenever I make storage in this, I always put it next to my pre-existing storage. It's always good to have enough generators. And now, it's night time. may also notice, I only have a crowbar. Well, later on, whenever you make a workstation, you can actually make, like, proper guns. Sorry for, like, hardly no commentary here, I'm just trying to survive. Alright, let's get that Max Payne zombie out of here. Skill points. One. Alright. Now, if I boost turret damage yet again, I did not mean to customize. Uh, 
That's like the most bare bones version of the turret you can make. There's a few different turrets you can make. But you know. Oh crap, my sanity is already low. It's probably because I was over there killing the zombies earlier. Oh yeah, by the way, you don't have to, like, right-click to kill a zombie, like, that quick. I just find it better because, you know, the animation's more satisfying. Okay, I don't want to piss the lesion off over there. Just want to... Grab stuff, get out. <clears throat> now it's time to regain my sanity. Okay, to make a workstation. Okay. I can actually make that relatively quickly if I do this right. I need to put another turret on top of that, like, truck to deal with the... Zombies that get bunched up there. Also, if any of you who are watching to this point, probably. If any of you guys, by chance, happen to be a masochist, um, I implemented a console variable that you can change. Um, it, it's basically just hardcore mode for shelter mode. B basically, I, I highly recommend you uh, play it only if you're in co-op. Because what uh, horde underscore z shelter underscore hardcore. Th this is a thing that I made. So it's basically just if, if you die during the day, you respawn at night. <laughs> Why, you may be asking? Well, simple. Um. And now I'm going to put a turret up here. It's a cake to take care of the zombies that get stuck. I didn't even notice the amount of money I have. This is lagging an incredible amount. You know, maybe if I look at the ground, this will run better. You know, actually, I'm gonna open up the console and see if there's anything. BJ underscore NPC underscore. 
Um, DJ underscore NPC underscore. All right, whatever. I guess we're going to have to deal with this. Wait. I think it might actually have something to do with the decals. R underscore decals. I'm, I'm going to set that down to five. That, that's a bit better. It's also probably lagging because I'm recording, and I'm also downloading Payday 2 in the background. Oh yeah, you can see that the VJ base does not exactly handle, um, not VJ, uh, the ARCCW base does not exactly handle, uh, <laughs> weapons correctly whenever there's a lot of lag happening. I think I, I think I can see why it's lagging though, because there was a bunch of zombies that are just bunched up over here. Okay, just die. Thank you. And now I'm going to actually boost my picking. Which that makes it so that you get uh, a multiplier of the resources that you gather. Let's see here. How much does it take to make a workstation? I can't exactly make that yet. Oh yeah, for every uh, storage container you put down, you can access that from anywhere, and it also increases the capacity of your um, of the uh, storage. So you'll see on the side how it says like iron and base and wooden base. Sometimes zombies will not go down in one hit, but it's usually only if you're, like, moving. Workstation. Basic engineering required. That's right. Alright, on the next day we'll get basic, en basic engineering. But for tonight, let's go throw a turd in the back of this truck. Because why not? can also deal with the guys over here too, which is extra bueno for me. Uh, okay.
Okay, now we're starting to get more advanced uh, enemy types. Alright, we're starting to get the lag again. Oh boy. Place is starting to become day. Alright, now we can actually go out and do things. Okay, maybe not. Basic engineering. Okay, we have to go take care of those guys. <laughs> So laggy. We have to go take care of these guys over here. Oh, game's coming back. Okay, this is playable. Turret, I put you up there to do things. Whoops. Well, gosh darn. I am going to die. Hey, yeah, sometimes just like random resource deposits will pop up. And apparently I have another skill point. Didn't know if that's what they did. I guess I'll throw one into, um... I'll throw one into... Just capacity. Workstation. Requirements not met. What requirement? Oh, okay. I see. Never mind. I am blind. <clears throat> Workstation. Um. I don't know why. Require requirements not met. These things on the side, they can usually actually, you know, pull from the stuff in the base. Okay, then. You know, just to be on the safe side, I'll throw down another one of these bad boys. Workstation. There we go. I'm dumb. I thought I pulled from both your resources, like your inventory and uh, the storage. Now that I have a workbench, I can actually start making things now. Also, I got messaged. 
cool. Have like any wood. Actually, wait. Oh, God. Okay, yep. Stuff's starting to kick in. awful. I'm actually going to check real quick and see if there's a uh, thing. Found the command. It's forward underscore z shelter underscore custom underscore max enemies. I, th I think this will only take effect if I have the custom config though. Which I don't have enabled right now. Okay, what is attacking me? Oh god, one of these little guys on the ground. Okay. Quickly repair the base. Okay, quickly, we have to go defeat these guys. Sudden jump to becoming playable. <sighs> okay. Let's see what we can get today. We have a workstation, which is good. Previously, before the update that pushed out yesterday, um, shelter mode was basically impossible to play single player. Not not because of like un inst can't speak. Not because it's, like, unstable. In fact, this game mode is surprisingly stable. But, the reason it didn't exactly work, like, just in single player alone, is because of the fact that, uh, zombies used to always just start around the base. Also, is there a way I can... Uh, hang on. I'm, go I'm gonna set the night time to be 30 seconds long, so way I don't have to deal with, you know, <laughs> I don't have to deal with the lag. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so I have max iron. And now I have max wood. Sound like a new one does. Now I can make medium generators. Which I'm gonna start building these over here. And now I got 110. So what does it cost to make a hold the two piece? 82 wood and 73 iron. Okay. Okay, can I make a better storage? I can. I'm gonna throw these over here in this corner. Yep, because it's very clearly day. more firepower the better. In the words of Engineer, if that don't work, use more gun. Alright, day 8. I love how intense the nighttime music is. Okay, we're starting to get zombines. I need to freaking go my game. So the entire premise of this game mode is basically just on day 15 call for evac, or you can wait until day 30. I always prefer getting out early. I wish Discern was playing this with me right now because if that was the case we'd probably be well into the game already. And you wouldn't have to hear me, like, mumble for half an hour about just me sucking at things. So what's this require again? 82 wood and 73 iron. Alright. Another storage time. It doesn't matter where you place these crates, because as long as you can access at least one of them, aka that big green one over there, you're pretty much fine. I just want to get to making bigger, better turrets. I see a front.
By the way, I forgot to mention this, but uh, a link to play this will actually be in the description. You downloading this will support both me and Shiro, because, you know, we're both working on this game mode together, and right? it's fun to work on. <laughs> Eighty-two and seventy-three. Okay. That storm is still going hard outside. You know, I wonder if any of you have watched up to this point. What what's the weather like where you guys live? Over here. It's Interesting. It 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 never remains the same. Fasties, well, cannot take more resources. Sorry, guys, I was all stocked up on zombie flesh. Oh boy, heard something explode. Alright, next night we can probably get the remote storage. Unless the game magically gives me a resource deposit. the sounds these guys make. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, later on, like, in day, like, 15 or so, you started getting, like, Tau Cannon soldiers. Which is straight up sadistic. <laughs> you can definitely see how, like, the boost picking thing affects your, uh, stuff. I need to get back to the base. Alright, and that's enough to max that out. Now I just need to make more generators. Please, game, give me iron. Oh. Alright. Power. 
100. Alright, and whenever you upgrade your base, you always want to get to it immediately. Because this thing starts at like half health whenever you upgrade it. What does upgrading it do, you may ask? Well, it increases the health and it also makes it so the way um, you can build cooler things. That's nice. Now we can actually start making good, good things. Like for example, let's advance for it. Which is very nice. Also, I'm just gonna stop sound. Alright, and now we can remote storage. What does remote storage do, you may ask? I believe what it does is, if you're full on resources, it'll stock up everything and put it into the your actual storage. Hang on, let, let, let's check this theory out. If there's a wood pile. Is there a wood pile? Yeah. I need more wood. There's iron. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if it actually went to the base. I wasn't paying attention. Thank you, Turret Sound. Let's see. Yes, it does. Just like how I don't expect it. So now I can stay out here and actually collect a bit more. Without having to worry too much. If I accidentally piss off that lesion, I'm going to die. stay on this truck. Yeah, the advanced turrets do a bit more damage. Always nice. Do you want to cancel that? Because in I want to make something else. I want to make a wooden ramp real quick. Uh, also, also, yes, these are using like the r legacy rust uh, <laughs> uh, models. I, I find it adorable. I figured in this game mode, as as long as you have a good lineup of, of turrets. You're, you're pretty good. Also, I forgot. Since I have pocket stuff, okay. So pocket storage is only one way. That's what I wanted to know. So I can just take all the stuff that I needed out of here.
There's a Yeti over there, I saw. Did, wait, no. Oh. Okay, thankfully. Thankfully we're okay. I don't know what looting does. Does it just make materials spawn more often? I'm gonna stop sound again. Wait, so every time you kill a zombie, it just drops resources. Okay, not every time, but I guess just sometimes they just decide to turn into a chunk of iron. I mean, I'm not complaining. I just kind of think it's ridiculous. I, ju I just kind of love the idea of just killing a zombie and that just turns into a slab of metal. take some materials here and we're gonna try and make the truck turret that I also very much like making. Reminds me of in the Binding of Isaac when you're fighting. What was it? Is it is it like? What what's the enemy or the boss that goes like, hey, whenever you uh friggin' well whenever like forf something at you like, hey, I forgot. I haven't played Isaac in like a month. Sidetracked. Oh yeah, the spike trap and the landmine. These are both models I've made. I love seeing a zombie just spawn, like, right here. I guess the max enemy thing did count for something.
I just have a bind to, to stop sound. So anytime you're watching Escape from New Mexico, just remember. Anytime I press I or start the engine of a car, it also stops the sound. It's pretty funny. Oh god. Oh, I thought I was seeing like a missing texture over there. It's just like a giant freaking just Okay, I'm not qualified to deal with the lesion yet. Because I'm pretty sure if I try to deal with that guy, in my medical opinion, I'd be dead. Keeping your stuff uh, nice and organized like this is pretty good way to, you know, uh, not have your stuff destroyed. Because as I said before, do not ever put your stuff inside your, uh, shelter. Okay, now we have a good amount of stuff. Can I make the cement mixer? Not yet. Okay. No, not my iron. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll just throw that junk in there. Cement mixer. Advanced engineering? Okay. Well, a healing station I'll definitely take. Go and put the healing stuff like here. Also, a good lesson that I learned is with these healing stations, you can also they also layer uh, on each other. Let's get some turrets going. Okay, another turret going. I basically just made the front of my building a decent safe zone. Like, it just took out a zombie hulk. And that was an entire mini boss. Advanced engineering. Mixer. So, 50 iron and 65 wood. Okay, not bad. I can get that. Oh, 
Let's go over here to ye old funky town. I should set up turrets around here so it's just I can gather in peace. Need some more materials. Why is like nothing spawning? Cheeky. Cement mixer. We're just going to put this here. All right, and now we can build even more cool things. I was playing Postal 2 earlier. I was doing a pacifist run of Postal 2. At least I was trying to. I'm currently on Tuesday. It just sounded like a interesting little challenge and I wanted to, you know, of course do something. Anyways. Little side tangent aside, let's see. What will it take to make a level 3? Oh boy. Okay. First, we need to actually make some big generators. So many resources just for me. I want to up my looting again. Shut up. <laughs> okay, and now let's actually... Can I make the large storage? Oh, I see. Okay. What was it again? 28 wood. Ooh, 
Wood. There we go. I don't know why my turret likes laughing at me. No. Oh, there's so much iron. It's disgusting. What is my underrated resource? Alright. Let's get home. Maybe collect this wood on the way. And by maybe, I mean definitely. Okay. So we're full on everything currently. Alright, we can make one of these, like, big warehouse things. And you know what? One more. Alright, so now we have a good amount of capacity, for now at least. I love how the nighttime is always just screw everything in particular. Oh, it's a lesion. Oh, okay, the lesion's dead. I myself might not have the firepower to deal with that thing, but dang. My turrets are gaming a bit too hard. Thank you for your iron, good sir. Will be put to good use. Don't know how you're able to carry that in your pockets. Though I don't think I want to question it. Not my business. Okay, time to run back. Go ahead and snag these while I'm at it. Oh hey, payday 2 installed.
let's see, can I make the level 3 thing yet? No. Okay, so all I need is more iron and, and power. But the power I can handle. Because generators aren't exactly that hard to make. to do that. Now, I think whenever I upgrade the base, we'll be able to get the minigun turret. So now the minigun turret, 17 wooden, 14 iron, gotcha. Seventeen wooden, fourteen iron. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very funny little maneuver. There's so many places on this truck, in particular, that you can just put a turret. Day 16. Right now we got a minigun turret. I, I also I, I still hope this video is Helping anyone who is struggling in Horde or shelter mode. Also, if, if, if you've stayed up to this point, if, if any of you guys can just give the Steam page for Shelter Mode a like, that'd be nice. Love it when that zombie turns into a pile of wood.
Also, if you think if you think these turrets are good, just wait until you get to see the freaking mortar. The mortar cannon itself, wonderful, love it. Actually, how much will it take to upgrade to four? That's it. Okay. It's not that much. For an entire base upgrade, that's actually quite little. I'm going to throw a minigun up here. Oh, I placed that completely wrong. Rip. It'd be a shame if resources weren't that easily accessible. Hurt, do your thing. Okay, fine. Be that way. Oh god. Nope. I heard a elite. Wait, what, 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 what was it that I needed again? Okay, we're not even that far away. Just give me some more of this. And then we'll probably be gravied to go. to secure this area. Alright. But before I do that, I'm gonna make a generator real quick with some of the resources in my inventory. Just so I have some power for later. All right, level four. And now, hey, I can actually build a mortar cannon. I have the resources. Mortar cannons in this are amazing. To demonstrate, I'm gonna build one. It's basically an entire freaking airstrike. <laughs> that does 70 damage of splash.
It's so good and I love it. The best part is it doesn't even damage you or your buildings. It doesn't matter what direction you build those, but I just like making things look cooler. But yeah, the more of these you make, the that you're you're pretty much set. I can actually go ahead and secure this area over here now. Oh. If I get more wood. Oh, hi. I'm going to build a turret over here. Now I have a skill point. Shiro also wanted me to take screenshots for whenever for the Steam page, since all the screenshots are pretty old. So I might as well go ahead and do that while I'm recording. That's the harm, anyways. I'm going to throw down a mortar. Because now that I have a mortar, I can go over here and actually get a lot of the resources that I want. There's still that lesion over there. So I am deathly afraid of dealing with because you know lesion
Oh, hi, Legion. Hey, Legion, you want to come check out my house? Oh, you're dead. Oh, no, you're not. You're just taking a little while. Things are just getting damaged as soon as they come down. Ooh, free resources. Sandy. This, this this guy still. You you, you can come on, Legion. Mega generator. I can't get a telecom tower yet. That's okay. We're gonna throw down a railgun turret, because why not? Now, fair thing about this railgun turret that we have not fixed yet. This railgun turret will, will basically just spawn sideways. Like, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. Like, I'm gonna put the railgun turret right here. You see, it spawns that way for some reason. But this might be a nice counter for... Basically, anything. I'm gonna throw it on a railgun here.
Oh god, the base is on fire. Mastered engineering. A lot of the main resources that, uh, you can get are, are usually in, like, these big open areas in Shiro's maps. I don't know why that's where he decided to put them, but... Honestly, it's, it's nice. I quite appreciate it, actually. We're just gonna grab it some more wood and then get it some more iron. So we can make ourselves a mega generator. And then we can lay it the heck out of here. Alright, 150. The telecom tower requires 120. Alright. Telecom tower. We're putting you here. And now, our CEO will come in 4 minutes. Hold the base. Gonna run over here and snag some resources. Mega generator coming right up. We're going to throw it on some more turrets. Just, just add insult to injury. Ow. The main tip I have about this game mode is don't panic, you'll be okay. Cause 
because you might have noticed I've been staying relatively calm through this entire thing. Just to make sure no enemy gets the light of day. Look at this staircase they're building. Ain't that beautiful. And rescue will be here on 22 seconds. And I did it. And that was it. Thank you all for watching my definitive guide to the Horde Shelter Mode game mode. Me and Cheryl will be working on this uh, game mode more throughout the... Well, throughout time, but anyways, good night to you all, and have a good day, or night.